Welcome to the Flow Rate Fundamentals series. This episode is the Units of Measure of Flow. Hey, weatherman, tell me all about liquid flow rate measurement. I'm touched that you want to know about metrology. Yeah, I just got to figure out how fire hydrants work. Okay, well, flow rate is measured in either volume per time or mass per time. Volume flow, such as liters per minute, gallons per minute. Mass flow, such as kilograms per hour and pounds per minute. Flow rate values are derived from the base units of measurement. Mass and time are base units of measurement, and volume is length in three different directions. So that's where volume per time and mass per time come from. Flow rate can be measured directly using primary base units or inferred, derived by calculations. A timed dispense, also known as bucket and stopwatch approach, is a primary unit standard for flow rate. When the collected sample is weighed, it is a mass flow standard. When the sample is collected into a graduated volume container, it is a volume flow rate standard. Three technologies can measure primary, direct, mass, or volumetric flow. Coriolis meter and thermal mass meters can measure mass flow directly. Positive displacement devices, such as geared meters and gear pumps, make primary volumetric flow rate measurements. All other flow measurement technologies measure flow rate by an inferred method. The flow rate calculated is derived from the speed of the fluid, size of the flow channel, and knowledge of the fluid used. These inferred flow rates can be extremely accurate. You have learned that flow rate is derived from the base units of measurement. Volumetric flow rate is volume, which is three lengths, divided by time. Mass per time is mass flow rate. You have also learned that flow rate can be measured directly with primary base units or inferred from calculations of other things like fluid speed and flow channel size. Flow rate fundamentals from the flow measurement experts at Proteus Industries.